Successful funding proposals don't have to be a secret only known to savvy fundraising professionals. Watch this video to learn how to unlock the secrets of a successful funding proposal. To many leaders of nonprofit organizations, a successful fundraising proposal is as elusive as a white whale or unique as a unicorn. There are five key elements found in all successful proposals, and I'm going to share those with you today. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help leaders of nonprofit organizations increase income and become fully funded. If that sounds like something you'd like to be part of, subscribe to this channel and be a part of a growing group of nonprofit leaders taking their income goals to the next level. Before starting to write your proposal, it's important that you get a good grasp of the first element, and that is understanding the problem. Every nonprofit organization has started to solve a problem, whether that be eliminating homelessness, curing cancer, or ridding the world of human trafficking, understanding that a problem exists is a key element. Sometimes there is a certain segment of the population that doesn't know or doesn't want to know or even admit that there's a problem. Some are in denial. That's bad enough, but when it's a current or prospective donor to your organization, that's especially bad. Too often organizations jump right into a discussion when with a donor about solutions to a problem when they haven't even aligned the prospective or current donor to the problem. It's nearly impossible to sell someone on making a donation to a cause if they don't see it as important. Yes, you might get a smaller nominal gift, but you won't get a large, and you definitely won't get a sacrificial gift from a person without them embracing the need. I'm not saying that you need to get them as aligned as you are to the problem, but they need to have at least a basic understanding that a problem exists and that some solution to the resolution must occur for the problem. Next. There must be some solution to the problem. Your solutions don't have to be unique, although that would definitely help. The solutions must, however, be reasonable and attainable, and your organization should have, must have a pathway or a plan to solve the problem. Just understanding the problem is not enough. You must find a way to come to the conclusion that your organization has an attainable plan and that your involvement in the solution is critical. If you hope for them to fund that proposal, these are so necessary. How pointless would it be if you got them to buy into the problem but never got them to the point where they saw you as one of the avenues to solve that problem, let alone an avenue for the solution as a whole. But as I said, the solution must be within reach. An acrostic often used is smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and tangible. These elements are important when formulating a solution. They should be a part of your plan. And that brings us to the next element, the plan. There must be goals, strategies, and activities on the path to the solution. You probably are already doing many of those things related to solving the problem, and this is the time to outline those plans, strategies, and activities. Some may be ongoing activities, such as providing daily meals for the homeless. They could include temporary activities like providing clothing, but they could include testing, trials, research, which could lead to a cure to cancer, all of which would be long-term. Once again, it's important that there is a strong, if not a full understanding of the, your past steps to the solution. And if you are missing some of those steps, those would be a part of your next element, which is funding the project. With any successful proposal, there's always a buildup to the need or opportunity. Featuring or highlighting your current activities and even successes is very important. But sharing where you're falling short or the possibilities that could exist with the right amount of funding is essential. Since prospective donors respond better to opportunities rather than needs, share what could happen, doors that could open or cures that could exist with funding. However, once again, those can't be empty promises. They must be reasonable and seem attainable to the donor. I can't tell you how many nonprofit leaders believe that they need a whole lot of money, but can't tell the prospective donor what they would do with that money. It's sort of, how much money do you need, is the question. And the answer, well, how much do you have, is the response. I've seen leaders ask a donor for a million dollars, 
But when pressed as to how that money would be used, the answer is, well, give me the money and I'll show you. No, the prospective donor needs to see a plan before they funnel any money to your organization, not the other way around. Donors also tend to want to give to projects and specifics rather than operating budgets. Using the money to keep the doors open or lights on is just not motivating to prospective donors. They want to fund something that they can see, something that has measurable results or outcomes. I know that's tough as most of your needs are operating related, but you must try to highlight those things that will specifically make a difference. If done properly, you can fold operating expenses, salaries, overhead, and equipment into the project budget and still satisfy the desires of the donor. Before I share with you some last minute extras, if you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button and consider sharing this video with a colleague or friend. And please subscribe to this channel and join our community of nonprofit leaders trying to take fundraising efforts to the next level. Lastly, your proposal must include a way to evaluate or measure success or an outcome. Just as an investor wants to know their return on investment with a stock or mutual fund, a donor wants to know the outcome or results of their funding. Human trafficking might not be eradicated immediately with their gift, but if 5, 10, or 15 women are taken out of life of slavery for a year, that will be enough of a start for someone to fund your efforts for at least that year. Or if they can see a couple hundred people given shelter, food, or clothing for a year, that will be a good rationale for funding or if a significant progress is made towards a cure for cancer, is also a justification for further research. Outcomes can include testimonials from individuals, stories of lives impacted or changed, and certainly statistical reports that are impacting will definitely make a difference. Having deadlines for achieving those goals or when funding is needed is essential to make the case for support. Donors who are oftentimes business people or entrepreneurs especially appreciate deadlines because it means there will be a finished product or an end result or an, uh, to an effort or a program. The key elements to a successful proposal don't have to be a mystery or a secret. Most are very basic, but they all are essential, including the right elements in the right combination should lead to a winning proposal and lead to your project or program being funded. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag in Jim and Java or email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.